Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to review the AOSP Extended ROM which is uh, based on Android 9 Pie and the AOSP Extended version is the 6.7 version. So guys, let's begin. The Android version is Android 9 Pie. AOSP Extended version uh, is the 6.7 and it is official and the security patch level is 5th May which is uh, great and uh, the kernel here is the extrema kama ui the build date here as you can see here is the may 28th so as i'm going to the settings here you can see in the system you have the system updates and this will receive the ota updates as it is the official one but there are currently no updates available but you here as you can see here the extras and add-ons you can just install them and download here this is very good option and uh, in the this have, you have this digital well-being here and it is working fine as you can see then in the security and lock option you get this fingerprint option available the face unlock option here is not available and the fingerprint sensor here as you can see is working fine it's working great it's fast enough than many other roms <clears throat> then you have the lock screen preferences like show lock now option and the notifications the privacy stuff then going to the sound and vibration you get all the sound and vibration option available here then you also get this is the me sound enhancer available then going to the display option as you can see here this is the night light the adaptive brightness you get this color settings available like the reading mode then as you can see here this is the color calibration option available you can just adjust it yourself this is working as you can see then uh, you have this wallpaper option uh, like all this stuff you get these a e e e x papers apps you get all these osp extended wallpapers available then you get this expanded desktop option like uh, if you want to hide the status bar and the navigation bar if you have enabled it then uh, this is the option available then you get this ambient display option like always on option always on display as you can see here it is working absolutely fine and in the advanced settings you get this uh, option for the pickup and hand wave all the option available okay then you have this the double tap to wake option then you have this system theme like allow themes from the substratum all this stuff then you get ui style these are all the themes like the dark ui black ui extended so, or you can do this wallpaper based also that is working absolutely fine no problems with that then you can select the accent color from here then you get the qs style tile style you get all these uh, tile styles available yeah as you can see here uh, then you get all these font styles available uh, all uh, the google sans and uh, the nokia pure then you get the samsung one uh, rosemary fonts this looks just Cool. Then you have these dashboard options like the dashboard conditions and the dashboard suggestions. Then uh, going to the battery stuff, the battery life here is great. I don't have any complaints with it. The battery life is just amazing on this ROM, as this is the Android 9 Pi, so everything is just stable here. And then the, going to these extensions, these are all the AEX ROMs customizations like the status bar customization, status bar items whatever the items you want on the status bar then you get this clock settings then you get this traffic indicator like show network traffic on the status bar then you have this carrier label customization you can just change the name of the, your carrier and customize the put on your name then you have these status bar gestures like the double tap on the status bar to sleep and the brightness control then you have this rounded corner option also available which is also working absolutely fine then you have this sticker option also available if you are music, hearing the music then going to the notifications panel in the quick settings uh, you have this brightness control buttons and all the bright quick settings customization available then in the notification you have this heads up and all that stuff available like the battery charging light I have I am having some problem with the notification like while charging it sometimes the notification light just don't work and sometimes it works so now going to the navigation this is the navigation bar you can just enable the navigation bar just uh, you can customize the navigation mode and uh, you have this swipe up on home button the android 9 pie gestures so and you have this 100 mode allow swiping on the navigation bar like just swipe <coughs> and you have this 100 mode available here in the gesture you have this navigation gestures like the swipe 
gestures like just swipe through the home screen then swipe and hold okay it's just not working fine then to go to the back uh, just uh, swipe from right side these are the gestures available but uh, i just don't use it they just don't work every time fine then you have the recent ui option like the which recent ui you want uh, like the audio one you can customize the icon pack from here just i don't know why is that the fix unlock is not available only then you have the fingerprint unlock uh, like uh, directly after rebooting your phone if you press the fingerprint sensor then you will be able, without setting the entering the password you have the clock widget and the clock style all these clock styles are available here then you have the lock screen visualizer also available then in the lock screen shortcuts you get this lock screen tuner like the shortcut shortcuts from the left and right you can customize it yourself guys then in the system you get this general tweaks option like the three finger swipe for the screenshot and that is working fine then going to the animation you get this screen of animation like these are the three screen of animation then you have this scrolling cache and the activity open and close animation all the animation stuff available here normal stuff then going to the button you have this power menu whatever the options you want for in the power menu then you get this option for disable the hardware buttons and the backlight then you have this gaming mode available here then you can just enable here and you have this dynamic gaming mode available here like just add the gaming apps to it and the gaming mode will automatically enable whenever you play that game guys you don't have the swipe down gesture for the notification for the quick settings this is just irritating then talking about this stuff the wifi bluetooth everything is working mobile data torch everything is working fine then swiping right uh, you get the screen recorder option available here which is also working and going to the settings as you can see it can record also record the system audio then you have this orientation automatic then you have the frame rate option but uh, here it records only at 1080p you don't have the quality option like the 720p it just records only at 1080p then you have the sound recorder also inbuilt sound recorder for this from available then uh, you can also customize the fonts directly from here as you can see then uh, going to this edit option you get all these lt and invert color data saver the, the expanded desktop gaming mode also available here the hardware keys all the option available and talking about these stuff like the camera camera here is the snapdragon one which is working fine and going to the video mode let's check the video quality as you can see here you can record up to 4k uhd which is k then uh, you don't to get the g cam like the g cam is not working on this rom no it doesn't matter for me then talking about the youtube youtube is working absolutely fine no problems with the youtube then talking about the pubg performance the pubg runs great and using this gfx tool you can just run it at the 60 frames per second and uh, the pubg performance is much i i think the best performance of the pubg and uh, this is the most stable rom i guess because it is on the android 9 pi maybe and this is the first android 9 pi rom i am using and i am reviewing and this is just amazing you get the three finger swipe for the screenshot and you also get the long screenshot option available here then you get this right swipe for the google feed option then the home settings you get this uh, all the options like the suggestions you change the icon shape all that stuff available here talking about the performance uh, this is the geekbench score the android benchmark just don't work these are the geekbench scores it, they are low but according to my usage the performance is just great so guys now talking about the bugs <laughs> there are no bugs available here like everything is working fine i'm using this from last 24 hours more than 24 hours and i haven't faced any bug like everything is working fine so guys that's it for now if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to hit the like button if you are new to this channel then please guys subscribe to the channel we are close to 1000 subs and if you have any questions then you can ask me in the comment section below i'll meet you in the next one till then stay safe have fun and goodbye